Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and I'm just saying that because I realized I don't say it enough and too many of you guys don't even know my name. So for the record, it's Brittany. So I definitely had heard that nesting was a thing that happens during pregnancy. I thought it was kind of a myth and then all of a sudden I woke up one day and I just had the overwhelming urge to organize everything. Anything that didn't have a place started to really get at me. So I decided to tackle some various things around the house that I felt needed to be organized. And I decided to do that with things found at the dollar store. I went to three different dollar stores around San Diego. I went to 99 cents only, the Dollar Tree, and also Daiso, which is the Japanese dollar store. And I found so many different things to organize around the house. So I'm going to show you each item, some different ideas for how you could use it, and then how I personally decided to use it in my house. So with all that said, let's just go right ahead and jump into it. So this first item I found in the office supply section at the Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure it's designed to be used for letters or paper organization. I'm actually going to use this in the kitchen. The first idea is to use them to stack your cutting boards and this will help them air dry. With cutting boards, you always wanna make sure they're totally dry so they don't grow bacteria on them. Other idea I had is to use them to organize your lids for your pots and pans. For whatever reason, mine are always a mess. They're really hard to find. So with this, you could stack them up really neatly and then grab whatever Whatever you need. So sticking with the kitchen for now, I found these Pringle type chips. This is the Japanese version of it. And the idea I had for this is to remove the chips, cut a little hole right here, and stuff your plastic bags in here. So if you ever need an extra plastic bag, this is a really great, easy dispenser. And of course, you can jazz it up, paint it, color it, make it look a little bit nicer than this. So whatever dollar store you go to, you're definitely going to find a ton of different size and shape clear containers with different dividers in them. How I wanted to use this was to organize different batteries I had lying around, all different size and shape batteries I thought might fit really nicely in here. You can also use these guys to organize pretty much anything small that you have, so craft supplies, sewing supplies, um, hair ties, different travel size items. So next is this little magazine slash paper rack. There's a bunch of different ways you can use this. One I've shown before in a video, but you can roll up your washcloths and use this as a little washcloth dispenser. So how I'm gonna use this is I'm going to put it on my desk and put my planners and different planner supplies in here so I could quickly just grab whatever I need. I show these in my cheap makeup storage organization ideas video, but I had to give them another shout out because these are possibly my favorite organization containers that I found. These are from the Dollar Tree and they have the grip at the bottom of them. So they are perfect to use to organize whatever you need in drawers. So your office supplies, I'm using them in my makeup drawer. So here I have a bigger one, which you can see I'm using to organize my foundations and they don't slip and slide around everywhere. So this is a cool little contraption that I found. It has a little hook to hang and three different plastic compartments. How I wanna use this is hang it on the back of my door and then when I empty out my purse, I can put my cell phone, wallet, and keys right in here so I don't lose track of them and then I can grab them every time I leave the house. This little index card holder, I am going to use to organize my coupons. Somehow every store on earth knows that I'm pregnant now and is sending me a bunch of different baby related coupons. So I'm gonna organize them all in here so whenever I get a chance to use them. This is from Daiso, but I know they have similar things at different dollar stores and it is a pen box, but I want to use this to put different makeup products in and keep it in my purse. And I like this versus using like a little bag because it's a lot easier to clean and it's easier to grab whatever you need because it's all laid out like this. So these little fold up organizer bins, you can use to pretty much organize anything around the house. So you can use this in the laundry room, under cabinets, to organize clothes. So I found these adorable little trays at Daiso and I just had to get them because they were just too cute for a dollar. With trays like this, you can use them as decorative items. So put it on your coffee table with some candles. And I also thought this would be a great way to organize your skincare products. These clear little zipper pouches, you could find at any dollar store. They have different colors, sizes, shapes. You can use these to organize pretty much anything, but I'm gonna use it to keep my different travel size items all organized. So next time I go on a trip, which is going to be in a few weeks from now, I could just grab this and put it in my suitcase. I showed in my laundry hacks video recently that I keep all of my socks in a mesh bag like this and I wash them and dry them all together so I do not have to worry about losing my socks. You can also use this with underwear, 
lingerie. You could put dog toys in here if you need to wash them and just keep them all together. These little mini Tupperware containers are also super handy. You can use these to organize pretty much anything small you have around the house. I'm probably going to use these to organize my sewing supplies, so different pins and threads and needles and things like that. This little over the door hook is really handy. You could of course use it for towels, jackets, but I'm going to use it to actually hang different purses from. Ice cube trays are really handy to use to organize different things around the house, different small items. I'm going to use this in my desk drawer to organize different office supplies, so paper clips, tacks, erasers, stamps, all little small items that I need to keep track of. These little clips are so handy to have around the house. I use them to wrap up different items in the pantry that are partially used, so you know, like chip bags. For whatever reason, these always get lost, so it's nice to be able to buy a whole bunch of them for only a dollar. There's so many different options of these types of containers at the Dollar Tree, color, shape, sizes. You can use these, again, to organize pretty much anything that you can imagine, so cleaning supplies, under the counter storage, I'm going to use this one in particular to organize my dog toys because they are kind of taking over my house and they need one place to live. There's so many different size and shape glass containers that you can use to store different dry goods. I will say with these mason jars, you can get these for less if you buy them in bulk, but these types of candy jar type containers are a really great deal for a dollar. I'm probably going to put my different nail polishes in here, keep them all stored together, and then you could also visually see all the colors that you have. So the last item I'm gonna show you today are the stackable plastic containers I found at the Dollar Tree. I thought this was perfect to use to sort your mail. I'm going to label these probably shred, file, and action item. And this is just gonna be a really easy system for organizing mail. All right guys, as you can see, I went a little organization crazy at these three stores. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you guys got some ideas and inspiration. And again, if you have other ideas for some of the items I showed, then let me know down in the comments. If you like my organization videos or dollar store theme videos, then definitely give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more in the future. With all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.